So let's talk about how to have that magnetic energy when you're a classy girl. That it factor, that main character energy, that aura that people are just drawn to and want to get to know. Let's talk about how to get that. Now the biggest thing you need to take away before anything else is that if you want that main character energy, if you want that magnetic energy, you need to be pouring energy back into yourself. So it is a lot about self-confidence, but also how you present yourself to the world. There's that saying, I don't chase, I attract, but what does that actually mean? How do you attract people? How do you be that magnetic person? Well, it mostly comes down to not chasing the validation from somebody else, because if you're able to feed that energy into yourself first, then you can project it outwards and other people will see that. It's, so it's not that you wouldn't want to chase somebody else. It's more that you don't need to because they'll be drawn back to you. So most people you meet will have some sort of anxiety or insecurity about themselves. So when they meet somebody who's very self-assured, very confident, they're often drawn to that. Especially if that person really knows themselves, is acting authentically, is not trying to fit in or be a people pleaser, but they already believe in their own worth and they can project that onto other people. Becoming more confident is a journey. It's not really something that you can learn overnight. Although you can show with body language that you are more confident, you can hold your posture better. There's all these little things you can do to appear more confident, but real confidence comes over time with building up your own self-worth. If you have a look at most celebrities these days, especially celebrities that are super popular, you'll notice that they all have this authenticity. They're not afraid to be who they are and stand out in a different way. They're not like everybody else. And that is a factor in being magnetic in that you don't want to be a clone of everybody else. You don't want to dress the same as everybody else and you don't want to have the same personality as everybody else. You kind of want to stand out from the crowd. You do want to go that little bit extra. You can do this through style, through personality, you can do this through how you project yourself online. There are many ways you can stand out and be individual and have people drawn to you, but you do need to be secure in your own self to be able to radiate that positive energy. Now you can see this yourself. When you go out, actually have a look around and see who your eye is drawn to and what is it about that person that you're drawn to. So you can sort of analyze what it is about that particular person that you're drawn to. Is it something they're wearing? Is it the way they carry themselves? Is it how they look or how they act? Often it isn't just how they look, although there's no doubt that more attractive people do get a lot more attention and seem to be more magnetic, but it isn't always the case. It definitely does come down to personality a lot. So if you're out in a crowd of people, who is drawing your eye? And try and analyze why. What is magnetic to you is not always gonna be what's magnetic to other people. So it's a really good idea to see what draws your attention. And that's something that you can focus on yourself. So it could be style, it could be how they're carrying themselves, like I said. It could be any number of things. If it's an appearance thing that's making them more magnetic, really analyze what they're wearing. What is it about the style that you like? What is it about the way they're wearing their hair, their makeup? It is getting really bright in here. Let's move and I'll continue that thought. I just shut the curtains a bit, so I think we're good. I don't have that bright glare in my face anymore. So what was I saying? Right, clothing and style and outward appearance of making someone magnetic. So I'm quite drawn to that classy old money look, but I'm also drawn if there's something different about it, something a little bit more upmarket, something a little bit that stands out. That's what I'm drawn to and what is magnetic to me. Personality wise, is actually quite simple across the board. We talked about confidence before. There's also something about someone being kind, being gracious, having that grace, especially in situations that could rattle a lot of people. Having that composure can be really magnetic. Usually people who react in emotion, if they're very reactive, they can sometimes turn a lot of people away. But if you respond to whatever the situation is with grace, especially if you have a bit of humor about it, if you're warm and inviting, that can draw a lot of people in. Personality, especially if you have some humor or you're funny, or if you have that really quick wit, that can draw a lot of people in and make you extremely magnetic. So to come across as confident and self-assured, and kind and gracious when you first meet somebody. A really good trick is to use their name, repeat their name back to them. Don't overdo this, of course, because you'll look strange, but definitely if you use somebody's name when you're talking to them or remember something that they said earlier in the conversation, that can make somebody feel seen and heard and that's gonna attract them more to you and make them like you more. Also, when you're talking to somebody, don't be scared about going deeper than just small talk. Small talk is great in the beginning just to open up the conversation, 
to get the conversation flowing, but don't be scared to actually go deeper and talk about things that are a little bit more vulnerable to your life. That will make the other person want to open up and talk to you about things on a deeper level as well. And that way you can really connect with somebody. Just keeping things very surface level, you can't get that magnetic connection as you would if you are vulnerable and open and authentic with somebody. A little tip that I like to do when I'm going out is just to make sure that I'm up to date on current affairs, any social issues, any pop culture, like new movies, new songs, new books maybe, depending on what crowd I'm going into, just so I know what's happening in the world. So if somebody brings up a topic, I might have a very good general knowledge of it. That way you can involve yourself in more conversations with people and they're going to appreciate that you know a little bit about the topic that they're talking about. But if you don't, that is fine too. Just ask a lot of questions and be very interested in the other person. People love to talk about themselves. So let them, let them talk about themselves and ask questions and be genuinely interested. And don't forget the compliments, not general compliments like, oh, that dress is pretty on you. Actually compliment them on something that you've actually noticed. That could be anything, a piece of jewelry that they're wearing, something that they've said or something they've done in the past. Complimenting them on their achievements or something they've done in their lives. That can go a long way to getting someone to like you and to build that magnetic connection. If you are feeling nervous, then make sure that you're calm and centered before you go into a room of people. You can do this in a classy way by just slowing down. When I walk into a room, I like to look around the room quite slowly. Usually I like to focus on all of the four corners in the room. Like I'm looking around for somebody, I'm usually not, but just to ground myself in the room. But people can pick up if you have that anxious, nervous energy. You do not want to have anxious energy and you do not want to have that desperate energy. You want to be centered and calm and confident. Maybe that's taking some deep breaths or maybe that's shaking off the negative energy that you have before you go in because people can pick that up. We've all felt it when somebody's vibe is off. And don't be afraid of being single or going out alone. You can meet some amazing people if you're confident enough to go out alone, to go to a place that you've always wanted to go to and be excited about it. People can pick up on that happy, excitable energy and that's another thing that can draw people to you. Desperate, I need a partner, I need friends, energy, that can actually repel sometimes. So make sure you're extremely happy in your own life and you like doing things on your own as well as being in a group of friends. That comes across as much more confident and self-assured. And people respond to that. And if you do find yourself in situations where you're talking to somebody who's really negative and you can just feel their vibe bringing you down, it's time to cut the conversation. Your cutoff game has to be so elite. If you want to have that magnetic energy, that positive energy that draws people to you, you have to be really protective of it. That means anybody that's kind of feeding off that energy or making you feel bad, you need to cut them off. I know that sounds harsh, but it's gonna protect you in the long run because you need to feel good about yourself to have that magnetic energy. You need to have that self-love and that confidence and anybody that is bringing that down cannot stay in your life. Again, if we go back to celebrities, they often don't even read negative reviews of themselves because they can't. That's gonna affect their energy, their creative energy, their magnetic energy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's something that I feel very passionately about. I think there's too many things in the world that can bring self-doubt and lower our confidence and I think it's so important and so special when somebody has that self-worth and confidence. Anyway, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.